What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and before I get into things like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. That button is no longer red it's white and once you're subscribed I believe it turns to black. Also if I sound a bit congested I do apologize. Right after I got done shooting that video it took me about a week to complete editing it and I got a really bad cold. And I'm just getting over that cold still, but I definitely feel like I got enough energy to put together this video and maybe another one later in the week. Now, before I give you a rundown on some of the highlights in this video, I want to let you guys know that a good friend of mine who goes by Sneaker Jacks, he is doing a giveaway on the Air Jordan 1 High OG Lost and Found. So all you got to do is subscribe to his channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment with your shoe size. Later on, he'll be doing a live stream where he'll be picking a winner. And if you're chosen, you get the shoes in your size absolutely free. Shipping is free. You're good to go. So a link to his channel in the description below. Good luck. Now back to this video. Some of the highlights in this video is we got some rumors, a lot of rumors. And one of those is that the Air Jordan 8 playoffs will be returning in 2023. I know a lot of you guys are probably excited about that. Also, we have the Air Jordan 7 Chambray and the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy rumored to return in 2023. We got a lot more from Jordan brand as well as some details on other colorways and models dropping as well. We got a good amount from Nike. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Starting this video off with Nike, we have a first look at Tom Sachs' upcoming general purpose shoe. This pair doesn't have a nickname, they're just kind of being called by its color, which is white and yellow. There is a little bit more to it, which we'll get into now. They feature the traditional build that combines mesh, leather, and suede, while the pair has yellow on the swoosh logos and green on the pull tabs. Overall, it kind of has this Oregon Ducks vibe to them. As well, they have Tom Sachs branding on the inside of the tongue and the Nike Craft logo on the insoles and rubber outsole. Unfortunately, we don't have a release date. We just have this first look. More than likely, they're either going to release later this year or early 2023, and the retail price will be 110 We saw the Nike Dunk Low Brazil originally released in 2001, and most recently, the pair returned in May of 2020. But for 2023, Nike Sportswear will release the Reverse Brazil, which comes in the reverse color blocking. So the pair features an apple green, yellow strike, and white colorway. Utilizing green leather across the base, yellow lands on the overlays and swoosh logo. The same shade also lands on the tongue label, heel, and laces. Other details includes a white midsole and a green rubber outsole. So a pretty clean look. And currently this pair is scheduled to release on January 2nd. The retail price will be 110 Now, it's possible that the shoe releases before January 2nd or even after, but right now, it looks like they're going to drop on January 2nd. Ambush and Nike will team up once again for a new collaboration, which will include four colorways of the Nike Air Force One Low. Now, images of the Phantom in Black, the Black and White, and the Game Royal and Varsity Maze pairs have leaked some time ago. Those photos have been going around for a while, so I'm not going to include that in this video. However, the fourth pair just popped up, which comes in green. Now, this pair will feature leather throughout and green across most of the upper, the midsole, and the rubber outsole. And then we have a hint of this pale yellow on the swoosh and heel. We have ambush branding on the tongue and insoles. The pair looks decent, but I saw somebody on Twitter say that this seems like a consolation prize if you missed out on the off-white Air Force Ones, and I kind of had to agree with it. Not to say that's a bad thing. And as of now, all four pairs are expected to release this holiday season. Again, it's very possible that they get delayed and the retail price will be 190 each. In late 2021, information came out that the Nike Air Max 97 Silver Bullet would return in 2022. Now, the reasoning for the return is to celebrate the 25th anniversary. We last saw the pair released in 2017, which celebrated its 20th anniversary. I still have that pair. I haven't worn them yet, so I highly doubt I will be picking these up. However, if you missed out on the 2017 release, good news is that we do have a release date and the pair is currently scheduled to release on November 11th. The retail price will be 185. Also, you will be able to at least attempt to buy them on the sneakers app because they are listed there right now. 
It looks like Drake's knocked to Nike Air Force One Low certified lover boy has a release date. Although this isn't confirmed just yet, it's not on the sneakers app. The pair is expected to debut on December 2nd. The retail price will be 160. At one point, these were thought to be scrapped. There was like a rumor going around and that was due to the outsole. On the outsole, there's hearts instead of stars. And according to a few sources, it was too hard for Nike to manufacture the shoes with the hearts. But of course, that was incorrect information. The pair also comes with special packaging, two sets of laces, and these light blue lace jewels. You can easily just put them on your laces, create some words with them. But yeah, December 2nd is the current expected release date and the retail price is 160. Run the Jewels, a hip hop group that includes LP and Killer Mike, will have their own Nike SB Dunk Low collaboration releasing in 2023. Unfortunately, we only have a preview at the time of recording this. However, if more images pop up before this video goes live, I'll definitely make sure to include it. Now that preview is just of the hill, the outsoles, and the bottom side of the insoles. So we'll go over that. From what we can see, it looks like shades of blue will run across most of the upper. Pink will land on the swoosh logos. And we have RTJ's handgun gesture and fist logo on the hills. On the zoom bags on the insoles, we have the date 420. Also on one of the insoles, it reads Jamly 2010. I believe that's how you say it. This is for LP's name, Jamie Meline, and his wife, Emily Panic, who started dating on that date. The other insole has Killer Mike's birthday, 42075. Also, the outsole has some purple hits along with a blue tint. As of now, we don't have a specific release date, nor do we have a retail price. However, they are expected to debut spring 2023. Each year, Jordan brand athletes receive a fair share of their own player exclusives. But in 2021, Jordan brand made what was called the Legacy Pack that included the Air Jordan 6 and specifically issued to MLB, NFL, and NBA players that, of course, are signed to the brand. We now have a detailed look at that Air Jordan 6 that was given to NFL athletes as well as friends and family. To go over that pair, it features a soft navy nubuck on the base and red and yellow accents throughout. Gold then lands on the lace locks, embroidery on the tongue, and Greek patches on the hills. Other details includes a red quilted leather insole and an oxidized translucent outsole. So these are really, really dope. Unfortunately, they will not be releasing to the public. And it's said that there's only 20 pairs in existence. So what are your thoughts on these? Do you think Jordan Brand should release them or just keep them an exclusive to NFL athletes? Eastside Golf has a large collection of apparel and footwear releasing on November 12th. Now on the sneakers app, we have the Air Jordan 12 and the Air Jordan 1 low dropping. However, what was just announced is the Air Jordan 1 high golf. Originally expected to debut on November 12th, they will actually release a little bit later. I'll go over that in a moment, but the pair features a burnt sunrise, midnight navy, white and metallic gold colorway. Utilizing leather and mesh, the pair features mismatched branding on the tongue labels and metallic gold lace tips. We also have Eastside Golf's branding on the insoles and of course a special integrated traction on the outsole for you to hit the links. Each pair comes with hang tags and unique packaging. So like I mentioned, the Air Jordan 1 Low and the Air Jordan 12, which are not golf shoes, will release on the sneakers app. However, the Eastside Golf Air Jordan 1 High Golf will debut on November 18th via Nike.com. The retail price will be 200. Additional photos of the Air Jordan 2 Lucky Green has arrived and this showcases how they look on feet. Now in the 2023 Air Jordan release dates video I did, a lot of people, well I wouldn't say a lot, but there was a good amount of people that were filling the shoe. I think it has to do with the fact that the color blocking is simple. It somewhat resembles the Chicago pair, but instead of red we have green. So to briefly go over the shoe, we have white on the upper, we have an aged midsole, green accents throughout in a gray rubber outsole. So a pretty straightforward look. I definitely do plan on going after them myself. And they're currently scheduled to release on February 3rd and the retail price will be 185. Ama Manier announced release details for their Air Jordan 4 collaboration. Now, depending on the time this video goes live, 
one of the ways you'll be able to obtain this shoe will already be over. However, there is a few additional ways, so I'm gonna go over that. They made a post on Instagram, and I'm going to read over that. This moment is inspired by the black and brown leaders changing the world from the heart of their community with purpose, passion, and vision. Built on the value of consistent action being the only recipe for progress, a standard set by trailblazers committed to the tireless work generational change would take to be achieved. The Amman Meniere Air Jordan 4 draws on the promise of youth to be the catalyst for change, standing up in the face of adversity and divisiveness. Standing firm on our ethos of timelessness and a silhouette renowned for its impact and significance across time, this moment serves to bring a generation together to form a better future with hope and bravery in the face of doubt and uncertainty. This is about where we're going, the future depends on us all. Now according to their post, there's only two ways to access the Amman Meniere Air Jordan 4. Number one, video submission entry from 11.7 which would be Monday until 11 8, which would be Tuesday until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which would be 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. What you need to do is share a video on Instagram or Twitter speaking to the issues that are most important to you. The second step to this is at us, meaning Amma Meniere, and your local representative and or local regional national media outlet. Step three, use the hashtag my voice holds power for us to see your video and keep an eye on your inbox in case your entry is selected. Now, if you don't wanna make a video and do all that, another way for you to purchase is on their website, which they're going to drop on November 17th. And that is at amamanier.com. They also went on to say there will be no local in-store raffle, general raffle, or Discord member only draw for this release. Now, there's a lot to this. I think what they're doing is great. It's good that they're trying to get the word out, especially for those that want change. So I'm not against that. I just feel that a lot of people are not going to want to partake in this. But hey, more power to you if you do. I wish you good luck. Hopefully this video goes live before the end of this video. If not, there's the second way, which you can try online, but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna get botted if they don't do some sort of online raffle. Now there is another way to purchase. Of course, Amon Meniere did not mention this, and the rumor is that they're going to drop on the sneakers app on November 23rd. It's possible that the date could change, but for now it's November 23rd, and the retail price is 225. So I've noticed a lot of these stores, they're doing different things as far as their raffles go. This is probably the most beneficial, especially if you do want change and it grabs some traction and you actually get change in your area. Now, I've also noticed some skate shops, they'll make you do kick flips and ollies and all this crazy stuff, which me, I cannot do a kick flip. I cannot do an ollie, but I do like SBs. So those skate shops, I'm definitely not going to be able to enter. We've also seen other places where you have to wear your shoes out of the store. And that's cool and all, but if I'm purchasing it, I feel like it's my prerogative if I want to wear them right then or if I want to go home and lace them up. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts about Amma Meniere's, well, one of Amma Meniere's ways of you obtaining this shoe? Also a heads up on the Trophy Room Air Jordan 7, new sheriff in town. Now this shoe has already released in store at Trophy Room as well as online. And from what I was told that they have people still camping out there because they haven't released all of their pairs. But again, I don't have valid information on this. If you're in the area and you know, send me a DM on Instagram just so I can confirm it. But if you're not in Florida and you missed out online, there is another chance for you to purchase and that is on the sneakers app. So they're gonna drop on the sneakers app on November 9th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The retail price is 225. Now don't get your hopes up on buying just because what I've heard is they don't have a lot of pairs. Now I don't know the specific number, nor am I big on sharing numbers because usually they're all over the place and a lot of these sources, they're very inaccurate, but just know there's not a lot of pairs dropping. I went over the Air Jordan 1 High OG Skyline in the 2023 Air Jordan release dates video. If you haven't checked that out, there will be a link in the description below to take you over there. Now, we had a first look at the shoes in that video, but the quality of the image was 
horrible. Well, I've seen worse, but it wasn't great at all. However, we do have a new photo, which gives us a clean look. However, it's just one photo. I'm sure within the next week, maybe even less than that, we'll get more images. So in my next video, I'll probably include a detailed look. But if you missed my previous video, the shoe is inspired by Nike's promotional card from 1985. Some call it MJ's rookie card. It's not his Fleer rookie card, but Nike made the promotional card and a lot of people grade them. But more specifically, it's actually the background on that card. So as you can see, it kind of gradients from orange to dark blues to even a purple hue. Now that same look, it will gradient across the overlays, which as you can see is constructed with canvas. Leather will land on the base, and from this photo, I can't 100% tell, but it looks like leather will hit the swoosh. They also feature a mismatch theme, so we have orange around the toe on the left shoe, and then it gradients to blue as you get towards the hill, and then on the right shoe, it starts out with blue and gradients to orange as we get towards the hill. They also feature an aged midsole and a black rubber outsole. So at the time of recording, March 18th is the current expected release date and the retail price will be 180. Again, this will release in men's sizing. It's said that they're gonna drop an actually extended men's sizing, so they should go up to about 18, 19, around that size. We have more 2023 Air Jordan releases. A few days ago, there was a massive dump of upcoming drops from Jordan brand that took place. Now, there's a few things I wanna say before I get into these releases. One, consider these all rumors. Although it comes from a legitimate source, J23, the thing is that this information actually comes from an upcoming meeting from Jordan Brand. That meeting isn't going to take place for another two to three weeks. So I just want to say it's a rumor for now, just for the simple fact that it's really early. Also take note, things are subject to change. That includes dates, specific colorways, because a lot of these only have one color use. For example, there's an Air Jordan 1 and the color used is just university blue. Obviously that shoe's gonna have more shades, so there's no way to know what they're actually going to look like. Also the dates, a lot of these do have dates. I think actually all of them do. And as you guys know, dates are always subject to change. You may have seen a lot of photoshops going around and I'm not going to include any photoshops. And the simple fact is nobody knows what these are gonna look like. Now, later on in the video, there are three shoes that are also rumored to return that we do have images of, but they're gonna be older releases. And I'm gonna talk about those probably within the next five minutes or so. And I'm going to give any additional information that is available. Now, the first one is the Jordan Airship Tech Gray. That pair will feature a white and tech gray colorway currently scheduled to release on July 1st, 2023 for 140. Now take note, I found this a little bit interesting because it's usually the Nike Airship, but it's being labeled the Jordan Airship, P-E-S-P. -E so it's a high possibility that this is a collaboration. Usually when something's labeled SP, which stands for special projects, it means that it's a collab. That's not always the case, but it's a high probability. Next, we have the Air Jordan KO One Low in black and cell. We have yet to see what the Air Jordan KO One Low looks like. There was a mock-up done for the upcoming Union collaboration. And this pair is scheduled to drop on July 1st for 120. Now these July 1st release dates more than likely will get pushed around because there's quite a few. So think of these as placeholder dates. Next, we have the Air Jordan KO One Low in white and cell. That will also drop on July 1st for 120. Also dropping on July 1st is the Air Jordan 13 True Red. That pair will feature a white and true red colorway and the retail price will be 210. This is another pair that I think they'll have a few more colors added. But again, in two to three weeks, more than likely, I should have a decent idea of what these are gonna look like. Hopefully I'll actually have images of them. So I'll put together a mock-up and share that with you guys. The Air Jordan 1 KO filled purple, that pair will drop on July 7th and it features a black and filled purple colorway. The retail price will be 150. The Air Jordan 1 High OG University Blue will drop on July 8th for 180. Now the color description that was given is just University Blue. Obviously this is a pair that's gonna have a lot more shades to it, more than likely white and black, but I'm very curious to see what this is gonna look like. I know I've seen mock-ups going around. None of those are accurate. Nobody knows what this pair looks like as of yet. 
Next up, we have the Air Jordan 2 Low Grade School in University Blue. That pair will feature a white and University Blue colorway. And the release date is July 8th. No retail price as of yet. The following pair is an Air Jordan 12 that's dropping in women's sizing. That pair is being called Brilliant Orange and will feature a black and brilliant orange colorway. Dropping July 13th, the retail price will be $200. Now on this pair, I've also seen some photoshops going around. Again, they are not accurate. We don't know what it's going to look like. So just take note of that. Another pair added to the Craft series. The Air Jordan 6 Craft will debut on July 15th. That is my birthday, so maybe I will be grabbing these and they'll feature a white and celestial gold colorway. The retail price will be 200. Also dropping in July is the Air Jordan 2 Low White Cement. More than likely the inspiration for this pair will be the Air Jordan 3 since it's celebrating its 35th anniversary. That's not confirmed, but again, I should know in about two to three weeks. That pair will feature a white and cement gray colorway. The release date is July 22nd and the retail price is 150. Dropping on July 24th is the Air Jordan 6 Low Furious Pink, which is a grade school exclusive. That pair features a black and furious pink colorway, and the retail price will be $125. The Air Jordan 1 Low OG in women's sizing, simply called black, is going to drop on July 26. Now, again, take note the color description is simply black. There's going to be a lot more going on with this shoe, but we're going to have to wait to find out, and the retail price is $140. Another pair which seems to be interesting to me is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Varsity Red. And the only thing that's interesting is the Varsity Red shade. Usually it's going to be a decent colorway, but again, that's not confirmed. July 28th is the release date and the retail price is 140 We also have an Air Jordan 12 simply being called black and the color description is just black. So again, there is going to be a lot more going on with this shoe. Dropping July 29th, the retail price will be $200. Now we're into August, and the Air Jordan 1 High OG SP Pell Vanilla, the color description is just Pell Vanilla, will drop on August 1st. We don't have a retail price, but again, since it's labeled an SP, it's possible that this pair will be a collaboration. Like I mentioned, SP means special projects, but more on that soon. This marks the third pair that is part of the craft series on the Air Jordan 2 Low, being called Pell Vanilla. So far, the color description says it's going to be in black and pale vanilla. August 4th is the release date and the retail price will be $150. Next, we have the Air Jordan 2 Low Women's in Sky Orange. Color description is simply Sky Orange. August 10th is the release date and the retail price is $150. On August 12th, the Air Jordan 4 Neutral Gray will debut. It features a white and neutral gray colorway. The retail price will be $210. This is another pair that I'm seeing a lot of photoshops made up, a lot of speculation on the shoe. Again, nothing is confirmed. However, for some odd reason, I feel like they're gonna have military blue color blocking. That isn't confirmed, it's just what I'm thinking and kind of guessing, but more on that soon. On August 19th, we have the Air Jordan 3 in light or wood brown releasing. And that pair will feature a light or wood brown and metallic gold colorway. The retail price will be 200 Another pair that I'm seeing a lot of photoshops go around for is the Air Jordan 4 Women's in Light Iron Ore. So the colorway just says Light Iron Ore, which more than likely is going to have a lot more colors than that. And the release date is August 26th. The retail price is 200 Also dropping in women's sizing is the Air Jordan 2 Soft Pink. Color description is simply Soft Pink. The release date is August 31st and the retail price is 175 a lot of Air Jordan 1 Low OGs are dropping during the fall season. This pair is being called Atmosphere Gray. No additional shades are known at this point, but the release date is September 8th and the retail price will be $140. Also dropping in September is the Air Jordan 4 Cacao Wow. I believe that's how you pronounce it and this will be a grade school exclusive dropping on September 12th for $150. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG in women's sizing known as Praline. Again, I've seen a lot of photoshops going around. We don't know how it's going to look like. The only color listed is Praline, but they're going to drop on September 13th for 180 This pair I'm actually interested to see. It's the Air Jordan 1 High OG Black Gold. The pair will feature a black metallic gold colorway and drops on September 16th. 480 we don't know how the pair is going to look although there's been a lot of photoshops going around but we should have additional information in the next couple weeks 
The Craft series will have multiple pairs of the Air Jordan 2. Here we have a mid-top version and it's known as Photon Dust. They're going to drop on September 30th for 175 Next up, we have the Air Jordan 5 Low Chutney. This will be a women's release dropping on September 21st for 180 The Air Jordan 11 Low IE will also return in black and white, dropping September 22nd for 185 The Air Jordan 2 Blacksmith will more than likely be inspired by the Air Jordan 3. That pair features a black and cement gray colorway, releasing September 23rd for 175 the last pair on this list before we get into some of the more known releases is the Air Jordan 1 KO True Blue. Now the color description is listed simply as True Blue, so we don't know how it's going to look of course, but it's a possibility that this pair could be inspired by the Air Jordan 3 also, dropping September 30th for 150 Again, I should have more information on all these releases within the next two to three weeks. But from this list, is there anything that sounds interesting? I don't want to say catch your eye, obviously. We don't have photos. So we have three additional pairs that I want to go over. Again, they're going to need more context. And they're a bit more hyped. And at least we know of these pairs. Or I should say colorways. But the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy is rumored to return in September of 2023. Now I included this pair in my 2023 Air Jordan release dates video and that's because I've heard from plenty of sources that this is a high probability for fall, although it's not confirmed. Now this information is provided by J23 and again, he did have the information very, very early. The meetings that will take place in two to three weeks usually supply this information so that's why I still want to say it's a rumor until I hear from my sources. But for those that don't know, this pair originally released in 2006. It was part of the Lifestyle series from Jordan Brand. During that time, they would release shoes in matching apparel. Also, I do believe the shoes were somewhat on the limited side. They weren't available just anywhere. I believe certain boutiques had them. But this pair will feature a deep burgundy light graphite and silver colorway and as of now the release date is rumored for september 9th and the retail price will be 210. this pair is definitely dope i know a lot of people have been waiting for this pair to return and i feel like fall is the perfect time for this pair to come out now this pair i'm really really excited for the air jordan 7 chambray is rumored to return in 2023. this pair originally released in 2006 and for some unknown reason, although I wanted them really bad, I decided to pass on them. I don't even remember why. And I have regretted that ever since. I've seen sample pairs of the Air Jordan 14 that features a similar color blocking to this on eBay. And I've been wanting to pull the trigger. But the prices on those are just crazy high. And yeah, I am a fan of the 14, but this color blocking made me want that shoe. So I'm happy to hear that, again, it's rumored, but it's a high probability that this pair will return in 2023. This is another pair that I've also heard from sources that they potentially could return. I've teased it on my Instagram page, asking people if they would like to see this pair return, and a lot of people said yes. Now, unfortunately, I didn't include it in my previous video. I totally forgot to. And if I forgot to mention, it's still labeled a rumor. The pair will feature a black chambray and light graphite colorway, and currently scheduled to release on August 5th for 200. Again, we should have more information as well as a confirmation on this release within two to three weeks. I saw a lot of comments in my last video with people saying, what happened to the Air Jordan 8? What happened to the Air Jordan 10? Jordan brand loves to neglect this model. And you know what? I have to agree. They don't release a lot of Air Jordan 8s, nor do they release a lot of Air Jordan 10s. It's usually the 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12 and 13 now it's the air jordan 2 a bit more they're trying to bring that out but in 2023 we have a pretty big rumor for fans of the air jordan 8 is that the playoffs are rumored to return now i know people will be excited about this news but take note this is still a rumor although it comes from a reliable source i still want to wait until i get that confirmation from my sources and for those that don't know Michael Jordan wore the playoff Air Jordan 8 to win his third NBA championship in his first three-peat. To win, he beat the Phoenix Suns in Game 6 in 1993, 
And of course, this pair originally dropped in 1993. We saw the first Retro come out in 2007, and then Jordan Brand decided to bring the shoes back in 2013. So 10 years since its last Retro, we're possibly going to see the pair return. Currently, the pair is scheduled to debut on September 2nd. The retail price will be 200. If I had to guess, again, this isn't confirmed. If they do drop, they will be available in full family sizing. This isn't a colorway that Jordan Brand would just release in men's or men's in grade school. This is a classic and Jordan Brand knows it. So I fully expect this to be a GR. So let me know your thoughts on the playoffs potentially returning. I know I'm excited. I'm definitely going to grab two pairs, one to throw in my collection and one to lace up right away. And that's going to do it for this video. If you got a second, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I totally forgot that YouTube changed the subscribe button, the color of it. So I know in my previous video, I said hit the red button below. I believe it's white now. And once you're subscribed, it turns to black. So I guess hit the white button below. Also, again, thank you so much for watching. You guys killed it on likes on the previous video. I think it's over 2000 likes. I didn't think many people would watch it just because I've been gone for so long. And usually with YouTube, it takes a while for when you're gone and you drop a new video for people that are even subscribed to you to see it. But no, that wasn't the case. So definitely appreciate that. And in this video, if there's anything you like, let me know down in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions, let me know. I will be responding to each and every one of you. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfollows.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.